What's going on everybody? This is Bio here and I got a round of Ground War Team Deathmatch on Crisis. In this game, interestingly enough, I am going to be using the Enfield. It's not a gun I typically use, but in this game I am pretty early in a prestige. I think I'm only in level 11, so I really don't have too much unlocked just yet. Oh yeah, go Enfield. I'm going to have a red dot sight on that bugger as well. And I end up doing quite well this game, and I think it just goes to show that you really don't need to have all those cool kill streaks and perks and the guns unlocked just the way you want it because, you know, I think some people have this notion that once I get this gun or that gun or that kill streak or that perk, then all of a sudden I'm going to start crapping on everyone. And if that was the case, then by the time you're level 50, you would always do good because you'd have almost everything unlocked, or at least unlocked to the way you want it. And you know, as you guys know, that's not the case. It's not like, hey, I'm level 50, everybody around me insta die. <laughs> you know, that's that would be pretty sweet, but no. So I think uh, some people are just kind of selling themselves short. They're like, "Man, I really need, I really need that gun with my, uh, with my reticle being that red heart that I just love, or the smiley face and my penis emblem." Man, what am I gonna do without my penis emblem? How am I gonna make this work? Uh, so yeah, don't don't uh, sell yourself short. You can definitely do good right out of the bat, either you know right at the beginning of prestige or right out of maybe your f first time player of the game as well. Anyways, I didn't want to talk about the gameplay too much. Ah, I wanted to uh, talk about something actually that is way over my head, and so I'm probably going to fail at explaining it. In fact, the only two people I th would think that uh, are kind of doing this whole commentating thing that aren't, that this wouldn't be over the head, would be uh, Sandy Ravage or Woody's Gamertag, because I believe Woody's Gamertag, he went to school for computer science and is now working for a Fortune 500 company. And Kimbo Slice or Sandy Ravage, he is. Uh, he is currently in school in computer science, and the topic that I want to talk about is the singularity. And there's a couple different ways of defining or looking at the singularity. And one way is it is the point at which the human race will merge with technology, and it will create kind of a superhuman. Uh, it sounds kind of weird explaining it. it. Sounds like you know, cue the Twilight Zone music. <laughs> Um, but no, it's actually something legitimate. If you want to look it up and not hear it from me because I'm probably going to fail, uh, that would be a good idea. <laughs> but um, So that's one way of looking at it. Another way of looking at it is it is the point at which technology will be increasing at such a fast rate that if you were to plot it on a graph, it would look like an exponential curve and it would be like at the very top of the graph where the curve is like increasing at infinity per unit of time. And I probably just lost a few people there. Um, so I don't know how to describe it. It's just like, let me, let me break it down. So you guys have heard the expression that um, technology doubles every 18 months, or at least that's what I've, that's how I've always heard it. And while it may have been the case when I heard it, it's probably a little faster now. It's probably doubling every 17 months, and eventually it'll be 16 months, 15 months, 14 months. Skip ahead 20 years, you'll be down to one month, 10 days, one day. Uh, one hour, ten seconds. It's so obviously at that point you're like, no way, D technology can't double that fast. And you're probably right, it probably won't get to that point. The singularity will probably happen sometime around there, but a little bit before that. <laughs> I mean, that would be incredibly fast. Eventually we'll be down to nanoseconds. Whoa, brain just exploded. But yeah, so that's kind of the way of looking at it. So the rate at which technology is increasing is increasing. It's getting faster, faster. Uh, in essence, I'm talking kind of calculus one here and a derivative, if any of you have taken calc one. Um, but yeah, so that's that's another way of looking at it, and <laughs> one kind of crazy way for some people looking at it. It's kind of like a doomsday scenario, but I won't go into too much detail on that. Like I said, you can just uh, look all this stuff up, because like I said, I'm going to fail. But anyways, like I said, it's the point at which the human race is going to merge with technology. So, I mean, we have it nowadays where you can take, like, personality tests, and they can take your genes, and they can, like, put it into data form. But imagine actually being able to transfer your consciousness, you yourself, into data form or a machine or I don't even know exactly what they want to transfer it into, but some kind of electronical, electronical, <laughs> I am educated, electronic form. So, it's kind of funny, it's like something out of the Matrix, you know, I'm, I'm picturing this scene where uh, Morpheus is talking to Neo about, like, how uh, machines are trying to transform us into batteries, and he holds up that, like, little 9-volt or 8-volt battery or whatever, and I'm just imagining instead of it being a battery, being a flash drive, and that's us, <laughs> we are trying to transform ourselves into this, uh, which may not be too far from the truth, but like I said, I'm gonna, f I'm not, I don't exactly know what's gonna go on here, but... That kind of begs the question, if we can transform ourselves into kind of data form or electronic form, can we live forever? Can we, you know, escape the confines of our limited body? 
And the answer to that, in theory, is yes, we could potentially make it so that we, as our consciousness, not as our body, would live forever. And so that's, uh, that opens up a whole slew of other questions, other problems, and actually solves a couple of problems right off the bat. I mean, obviously, dying would be gone, <laughs> at least, you know, from old age and disease and that kind of stuff. But, I mean, you'd have a completely different set of problems, like computer viruses would now be human viruses in a way. Like I said, I'm just, I don't even know exactly what I'm talking about. I'm just kind of thinking, thinking of what could happen, the what could be kind of thing. And also, you'd have, right when this kind of technology would come out, it would, uh, it would kind of create a rift in society because guess who's going to be able to afford it first? That's right, the witch, uh, the witch. <laughs> and your little dog, too. No, the rich and the wealthy and those with power and government, that kind of stuff. And so there's going to be people who have this first, and so you're going to create kind of a rift. And there's also people even now, like in now time, 2010, that are like kind of fighting against this. They don't want people to become uh, data or machines or whatever they're looking at. And so they're already like fighting against it, even though we don't. And like I s this, guys, this may or may not happen, but at the current rate, it looks like it will happen sometime around 2030, which is actually not too far off. So I think I read an article, something along the lines of, if you're in your middle ages now, you know, 30, 40, then there's a good chance that you will have the option to do this, to become whatever it is that you can become. And for those of you being born today or who are very young today, it won't, it won't be a maybe, it'll be a choice whether or not you want to do it. So... I don't know. I thought it was just something kind of interesting to talk about. And if you guys, if you guys want to hear more about it, let me know. I will try and dig some more up and not sound like a retard when I do it. But that's gonna be it, guys. Final score for this is 33 kills and three deaths. And I will see you later. Thanks for watching.